different thing. Yeah, oh. we're going to check in in just a second. But first, many oh, businesses sorry. have had to get creative in order to keep their doors open. And for one local restaurant, that meant totally transforming itself. Sabrina Silva live in Sacramento at Aoli Bodega. Now a market with all the goods you can Oh, my pick goodness. Up. I love it. Oh, yes. Okay, so I am shopping out here. This is the freshest type of produce that I can find. And I didn't think that this would be the case at a local restaurant and it's much nicer the lines are much shorter so Aziz thank you so much for joining me here this morning you have turned aioli into bodega aioli isn't that right that's correct okay so what's going on over here well um, I just took all all the things out of my kitchen and my other kitchen and popped it up and put prices on it and <laughs> said uh, bodega, bodega. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the cool thing too you have I mean everything you've got mushrooms over here jalapenos the carrots look amazing I mean you are really good at running a bodega for your first time around uh, well it, it turns out I'm good at selling things and being with the people yeah. yeah, and I mean, we have to adjust to everything that's happening around us. And if you take a look around, too, I mean, you go beyond just your fruits and vegetables, um, your cheese, your meat. You are also selling toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really hard to get toilet paper right now, and I realized that uh, uh, as far as the supply chain was concerned, getting janitorial style uh, toilet paper was not difficult. Yeah. And so we're selling basically triple rolls uh, with, the, with like the small core. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got paper towels. I have my local craft people bringing me things that they're making out of their homes like beautiful breads, Andy Baked breads, uh, beautiful CBD oils, tinctures, and uh, uh, salts from uh, Sweet Creature. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working with uh, local Burley syrups and shrubs and Becker honey, um, and then you're keeping it local. As, as as local as possible when it comes to the, the people that I'm bringing in to kind of create a little bit of variety. Yeah. Um, the produce as local as possible, um, unless it's an out of season staple item. Uh huh. Um, and then the dry goods, uh, most of what I normally stock, and then I took two of my sellers. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm far behind <laughs> trying to follow you with my stick and my mic. I'm making well, my distance. Whew, there well, we go. Well, I, uh, I, I took all the wine from a couple of my sellers, everything that was still boxed up because it's easier to move a box than individual bottles out of the wall, and I created a little, little wine shop. I'm also doing... Uh, Cocktails to go, quarts of cocktails. We're doing uh, sangria. That's so cool. Just add ice and wow. an orange slice. Okay. And what time, by the way, is it open? I'm open Monday through Saturday from noon to seven. Noon to seven. Okay, that is perfect. Well, there you have it. I think Safe and I, photographer here, we're gonna go on a little, little shopping spree. I bet you are. I, I don't know if we're gonna leave this area here, though. Okay. Okay. Like this area. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. All right, Sabrina. Thank, thank you. you. So many.